Hey everybody, Spet here. Welcome back to another video where today I'm actually going to be showing you a really cool script. Now, the thing about the script is it's a bit of a special one. Uh, a lot of you might remember a older video I made where I showcased this 2016 script I made. Well, that was a very buggy script. It wasn't the best. Um, <laughs> I liked it, but me and my friend, we were not the best at coding at the time. So, me, uh, I remade the whole script. Uh, use some of the scripts that my friend made. Uh, props to Cola, you know, he's amazing, does basically all the work. But <laughs> today I'm going to be showing you Project 2016 Remastered. Now, the best thing about this is it actually comes with settings, mods, and you can do whatever you want. Um, it's pretty cool. And yeah, today I'm just going to be showcasing, you know, how it works, what it does, um, how to use it. So, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to boot up Roblox real quick, and then I'll get to the script. Alright, so this script supports your auto-execute, by the way, so you can put it in there. Uh, it was actually made for it, but uh, it works 100% even without it. So do whatever you want with it. <laughs> um, as you can see, I have it right here. I'm just going to put it on the default 2016 settings. So you have the old console, the old player list, and the old graphics. And before I run this, I just want to say one extra special thing about it is I reduced it from 2,000 lines to only about 700. And if you remove all the comments, it would probably be a lot less. So um, it's a lot more lightweight and will not lag your game out like the other one. Um, I don't really know why the other one even did that in the first place, but I mean, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to execute it, and as you can see, it will take a second to load, but it will load like this. Um, everyone will get added to the playlist. Now, uh, I don't think reporting works or teams work yet that is yet y'all hear that yet um the reason why i say yet is because i will 100 percent add literally like anything to make this true 2016 um the one thing uh i will say it's not 100 percent like finished i know i i, I, I hate to have y'all not have teams like the older one but the thing is this is a way better version you get a ton of settings ton of stuff please just use this version not the old one uh, i love cola he makes amazing scripts we both made that amazing script but it is extremely laggy and extremely unorganized and kind of bad coding so uh basically how this one works for t uh for playlists by the way whenever someone leaves it'll find their name and then remove it and whenever someone joins they'll find their name and yeah it's a lot better of a system than we had last time because last time i think we had it so it would basically like refresh the player list uh, every time so it would make it and keep making it. It was really meh. Um, also a special thing about it, it actually supports people with premium. Now I'll show this in a natural disaster game. But um yeah no it'll show like builders club icons and also do math.random so it changes like wh which icon it is anyways. It's kinda cool, I'll show you that later. And then um it has the nice old console. The special thing about this old console is uh I instead of putting it in the main script I put it in a different like module that I'll load string from, and the reason why I did that is because it just runs better and works better. So uh, you're not gonna have as much bloat. But yeah, here's the old console. Works perfectly. You know, um, it only makes it whenever you need it, so you'll have less lag. And yeah, no, it's nice. You can do. It's... Hello. I will actually. There you go. Hello world. And there you go. It does execute local scripts that's kind of cool but yeah and then we also have the old graphics i loaded that in as you can see and then we also have the um old playlist as you can see i've also loaded that in so yeah um, all right so let's just say we want to change some settings and reload it um i'll just rejoin because you do have to rejoin sorry <laughs> uh but let's say we don't want the old console because we like the newer one and let's say the playlist just isn't doing good because it doesn't show these things right um, I'll just set those both to false and save it, and then I'll execute it. And as you can see, whenever we load in, give it a second, it will do this. So now we have the original console. Um, no errors, by the way. This is not a um, error from the script. It's an error from something in my auto execute. I don't really know why, but whatever. Um, but yeah, there's no errors at all from this script, uh, and everything's normal. But let's just say we want to do. Um, no old graphics, but everything else, because we don't like how the old graphics mess up our game or something like that, right? Set this to false, and then I will rejoin. And now, as you can see, whenever we execute this, it will... There you go. It will load up everything, um, it will do everything but the old graphics, and still, no errors at all. Um, as you can see, 
yeah, no errors, nothing like that, you know? And then let's just, uh, now I want to test out the mods, but I'll do it in a public game because uh, I'll actually be able to show, uh, like, icons and stuff. Mods are probably, well, actually, no, I, first I'll do it in here, and then I'll try some of the other ones uh, in a public game. But mods are some of the best parts about this, because in the original, there was no way to, like, mod it. I mean, you could mod it, but it was kind of unorganized. But you can actually make your own mods if you have the source. Now, the source, it's an open source. You can modify it as you want. But um, these mods are pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you all of them. I will say the cool mode, which loads uh, the cool GUI, it, it has, like, a little button for it. Um, it only is client sided, meaning only you will see it. Uh, I know most people would know this, but for the skid to run it thinking they'll ruin games. Sorry, but nobody can see that you're actually doing that. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, let me, uh, let's just say we want to load up and I'll rejoin. Uh, let's just say we want to load up an FPS counter in Silent Re, you know? Those are pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, whenever we execute this, we will have, give it a second. It does take a while to load, mainly because of images and stuff, because it has to re-download them every time, but we have a cool little reload icon, so whenever you click this, it will reload you in-game, that's pretty cool, and then we also have an FPS icon. Now, uh, the way it reloads you, it will only reload you instantly in just grass, so I'm in just grass right now, and whenever uh, I click this, I will be refreshed. But, in every other game, it's going to use uh, Infinite Yields method of re, where whenever you type it, it does this, and then you give it, like, uh, same respawn time, give it a second, and then you're there. Now, you can actually see a cool example of someone having uh, premium or builder's club in the game, uh, but I'll show you an even better example in a sec, but yeah, that's just a small example. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's, you know, that's a few mods. I'll try out cool mode in the public game. Uh, remember... You're the only one who can see the stuff from cool mode, but, uh, anyways, yeah. Alright, so I'm in game now, and, um, I will say, oh, what the, okay. Well, um, I will say something, uh, if you want to try out cool mode, just know that it will modify your graphics and change how everything looks. Um, this won't really be any problem, but, uh, and, by the way, no one else can see it. Again, I'm gonna keep saying that because I know some skids are gonna think, oh, I'm a hacker. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> but, um, it does change your graphics. Just know that if you run cool mode. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you can also try it with graphics off and it'll look a bit different, but whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna execute it. Um, everything on basically besides dev because dev's kind of useless. Um, this is what cool mode does. Give it a second and it will. It loads in last, by the way. There you go. Now, it might take a second to load because it has to load a ton of images. And uh, as you can see, it actually shows like different um, Builders Club icons, which is cool. It doesn't matter random again. But uh, no errors, as you can see. Uh, we only have this one from a different script from auto execute. This is not what you're going to get. If you execute this, you won't have this. Um, as you can see, everything works. No errors again. Uh, it, g it gives you a cool red chat bar. Um, I don't know why, but chat likes to not show the red icon first. But it gives you a cool red chat icon. Um, it also gives you this cool, like, uh, red back. Thing. It basically makes a ton of stuff, like, cool and red. And what's probably the coolest thing about this is it actually has a built in uh, cool GUI button. So it'll load up cool GUI or cool kid GUI, whatever you call it. And while, yes, nobody else can see the fact that your game is getting messed up, like, say you want to set the skybox, nobody else sees that. Like, literally, nobody in game can see that at all. Um, it still is cool, and you can do whatever you want for this. So, say I want to load up, um, I love Master Hand. Even though it's an FD script, I love Master Hand. It's one of my favorite old scripts. You can load up your little Master Hand, grab yourself. Um, sadly, flying doesn't work anymore. Uh, you can execute this on, like, 2011 flying, and it works perfectly. But, sadly not on modern Roblox, but whatever. Um, but yeah, you can load up your favorite FD scripts that literally no one else can see. Or you can just not, you know, do whatever you want with this. Um, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Wow. Huh. That's cool. Again, nobody else can see this. Nobody in game can see the fact that you're running this. But I, I think everyone knows that by now. Anyways. But yeah, um, that's about it for today. Uh, it's a really cool script I made or really remastered because originally me and my friend made it. And then I just kind of fixed it up a bit, you know, trimmed it up a bit. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's... Yeah, that's that, you know? No errors, as you can see. This is not from the script. This is from a different script I'm auto-execute. I don't know why it's saying that. Um, but, yeah, you know? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, just 2016 remastered. Do whatever you want with it. 
Um, weirdly, my move is broken, but whatever. But yeah, that's for today. Bye, y'all.